In this data set, previous cluster analysis has suggested that these particular variables, V2, V5, V6 and V9, are significant in predicting the binary state of this group variable, either into state A or state B. And we wish to use binary regression to investigate this. So we go to stat, regression, binary logistic regression, and we wish to fit the binary logistic model. In respect of presentation of the data, our data is presented in binary response format rather than event trial format, so we accept the default. The response is the group, and we will select under response event A so that response A represents a probability of 1. We have the continuous predictors V2 to V9, which we will select. Under options, we will check that we're using the logit link function. And under storage, we will save the fits, which will be the event probabilities for each record. And we will also store the delta deviance, which is a measure of the difference between the experimental data and the fitted model. We click OK and then run the analysis. The printed output appears in the session window where we see that it confirms that we have used logit as the link function and that we had the two groups A and B with 50 records in each and that record A was the event with a probability 1. Within all the data produced, it also gives us the coefficients of the binary regression equation. So this tells us that the logit of the probability is equal to a constant of minus 12.72, minus 0.574 times the value of V2, plus 0.0368 times the value of V5, plus 0.191 times V6, and then plus 0.059 times V9. From these values, we can calculate the individual probabilities for any particular record. In addition to the printed data, we also find that the analysis has created two new variables. Fit S1 is the fitted probability that the particular record will be in a particular state. So for example, record 1 within the model has got a probability of 0.785 of being in state A, which is consistent with the fact that we know that it is. And we have a low probability that the second record is in state A, and indeed it is in state B. In addition to that, the other variable, ddev1, is the delta deviance, which shows how far each particular record is from the pure fitted model. And it can be useful to display the deviance as a function of the fits by plotting these two variables on an XY graph. So we go to graph, scatter plot, a simple scatter plot. The Y variable will be the delta deviance. The X variable will be the event probability. And we run OK. The graph shows two distinct curves relating to the two binary states. The curve from top left to bottom right relates to state A, in that uh, experimental data, which is a good fit to the model, i.e. has a low delta deviance, would be expected to have a probability of 1 corresponding to state A. So records which fit well into state A are going to be in the bottom right. Members of state A in the top left are poor fits to the data. Similarly, 
the other line is for data from group B. Records which record a low probability corresponding to group B and with low delta deviants are in the bottom left and represent a good fit. Data values that are in the top right represents a poor fit.